Hello beautiful people, I am Jane M and this is Jane M TV, baby. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Please like, share, comment, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you'll be alerted whenever I post. As you can see by the title, today we'll be learning how to thread an overlocker and we are threading the Benina 700D and that's how it looks inside right there just giving you a close-up you need to pay attention to the one two three four five all of those red blue green yellow lines on there because that's what you'll be using to thread your overlock and this is the mechanism inside I'm just turning it so that you can see those little levers in there where you're going to pull your threads through. The red goes all the way from there, follows the red dots on those, um, uh, what you call these things, and then ends up at the levers there. And then the blue one goes all the way like that. You follow the blue dots from the top there all the way down. And then we have the, the green and the yellow, which are, that's the yellow one and the green one. And they follow only from the top. They don't go underneath. They are the needle threads. And back here is where you place your threads. So they go from up there through that tension disc and then through the dots and then out the top from the levers that, you know, roll. So I'm just showing you that you're going to need a pair of scissors and some tweezers now we can start threading so i'm going to show you from the top because you need to see where the threads go and i'm going to take this orange one place it on the outside and then pull it through on the top there and then I'm going to put it through the tension disc there. You need to make sure that it says there's a sound it makes. It needs to say that. Otherwise, it's not going to overlock nice. And then we are going to go down now. That's how it looks. Now we are going to take our thread and guide it through the red dots. So it's going to th go through there and then I'm just going to take my tweezers there and thread, thread it through the red dot again there. As soon as I move my fingers, my hands, you'll see right there. That's where it went. And then I'm going to take it again and put it through another red dot that's where it's going and now i'm just gonna try and get you even closer so that you see where it's gonna go after this it's going to get attached to or, or rather pulled through that lever it's very tricky but it needs to be done and this is the red the red thread is actually very volatile it breaks easily so you need to make sure that you thread it nicely that's why it's already like four minutes into the video and i'm still threading so make sure that it's not craving onto anything it's just going through the red dots so i'm just going to use my fingers to just try and pull it out to the other side And then make sure that it's not craving onto anything else other than going through where it needs to go. Now I'm going to show you at the back where it needs to attach to the lever. 
and I'm going to turn the machine soon. <laughs> there we go. Right there, that's where I'm going to turn the machine. And you see the lever coming out from this side and getting closer again. I'm going to put it towards the back of the lever. Very tricky, but yeah, there we go. And it's through. Now I'm going to take my um, my tweezers and try and pull it to the front. It's very tricky, guys. You need to take your time. Like literally threading an overlocker is not an easy task. But you need to be patient. Take your time and make sure that the thread is not attached to anything other than the parts it needs to go through. There we go. I pulled it to the front again. And now I'm just showing you the thread. And I'm going to turn the machine again right there. And the lever is going to come out to the front. And we're going to thread it through that tiny hole right there. And we are done with the red which is number two. I always begin with number two. I never go by like one, two, three, you know. I start with the most difficult one and then end with the um, end with the ones on the top. Now I'm gonna close this part because I don't need that part anymore. That's the only part that needs um, the sewing machine open on that side. Now I'm gonna turn you again to the top so that you see where the thread is gonna go so here I used this um, royal blue one and I pull it through right there on top and then again make sure that it's secure on the tension disc and now we're going to go down so that you see what happens underneath. Remember we're threading number one, which I decided to not start with. So there we go now. Follow the blue dots. Wherever you see the blue dots, that's where you thread. That's the first blue dot. And the second one is close to where I did the red, the red one which is down there, pull it through. See, and then go through the other red dot, the, I mean, sorry, blue dot, blue, blue, and then through that part like everything shows i know it's not very clear on my video here but you will see where the blue dots are follow the blue don't put it into any other place other than where the blue dots are and then put it into the lever there on that tiny hole and with this one we are done see why i said i start with the red one the red one is more complicated and the blue one is simpler and now moving on to the green and the yellow it's even more simpler like but over here i decided to only thread the green because i wasn't going to use a double needle going back up again i'm using this green one it's actually mint <laughs> so we're going to put it through on top there and then through the tension disc now I'm just going to um, get you down so that you see what I'm doing and I'm going to grab my thread just get a bit closer so that, so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to grab the thread and then thread it underneath there, following the green 
guideline all the way to that little loop there and then to our needle so I grab it with my tweezers and I'm gonna get you a bit closer Just getting my needle up and then in goes our thread. Remember to always take your time, use your fingers, use your tweezers, take your time. Now Right now, my overlocker is all threaded. And what I'm going to do is just give you a little sample to show you how the whole thing looks. But that's how all of the threads look once I'm done threading. From the top, that's how they look. And then down there, I think we see it. <laughs> I'm gonna close it up and take my sample piece, little scrap fabric, and just stitch. Make sure that there's no threads caught up somewhere in there. Make sure you pull them aside if there's any threads that are trying to get caught up, especially the ones you pulled out in the beginning. And stitch. The threads will not break if you thread it correctly. They will only break if it so happens that we threaded wrongly or it was caught up to something else. But this is how our stitch looks. It is gorgeous. And if you can see where I placed all of my um, buttons up there, they're all on four. I find that's the perfect uh, tension for my thread. And that's how my overlocker overlocks. Thank you for watching.